what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There are a lot of questions about what led to the shooting death of Andre Hill at the hands of Columbus police officer Adam Coy. Fam, the cop jumps out of the car, followed by another cop, pulls up shortly after. He walks over to the neighbor's house. He stands from the neighbor's driveway and points his flashlight at the next door neighbor's garage where Andre is coming out with his hand up, one hand up, holding a cell phone. His other hand, his right hand cannot be seen. Dude, boom. I mean, he sh he's already shooting. Now, guns the man down and then tells him, let me see your hands. Show me your hands. Dude is on the ground struggling for oxygen. Struggling to breathe. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Turn over, turn over. So this ignoramus finally uh, turns him over. For five minutes, five and a half minutes, almost five and a half minutes, they don't render any aid to him. But guess who they go and check on? You got it. The police officer. You all right? Everything good? Okay. At one point, off camera, he appears to throw up. You hear the regurgitating noises, right? Personally, I think he was faking. I think the whole throw up thing is one of those stop resisting moves so that just in case it goes to court, he can say, hey, look, didn't really want to shoot the guy. The client even threw up. You know, the officer threw up. He was empathetic from jump. Not. I think it's all part of the race soldier hustle. Now, why did he even go to the house in the first place? Oh, you'll recognize this one. A neighbor called the police and said that they saw a car parked outside on the curb in front of their house or at the neighbor's house. And it was on and then it's, it was off and then now it's been on for the last 30 minutes. That was enough for the police to come to somebody's house. Like, since his ass was so nosy, why didn't he just sit there and just really just pay attention and really just wait? The mayor, Mayor Ginther, said that if it was his brother or father, would they, would something like that had happened? And he said, no, it would not have happened. The mayor wants dude fired. He's already relieved him of his duties. He wants him fired. He don't have the power to fire him, but he said he wants him fired. Of course, the Fraternal Order of Police, the union, is backing him and talking all that old shit about, let's wait till the investigation is complete. In other words, let, us, let the police investigate the police, and then we'll let you know if he's guilty or not. The officer's body cameras were not turned on until after the shooting took place. But thankfully, the video was recorded through the camera's rollback features, but no audio of what led to the shots fired is available. But 
That rollback feature is a lifesaver because that tells a lot. And even with what they turned in, it appears that something was clipped from that video. I don't think that's the video in its entirety as far as like the entire incident piece of it. I, do, I, think, I think they altered that video. I'll put a link in the description so you can see for yourself. This marks the second time in three weeks that Columbus police has gunned down a black man. I don't even have to say unarmed black man anymore because almost all of them were unarmed. As in the case of Casey Goodson Jr. who was killed about three weeks ago by Columbus police. And this dude, Adam Coy, oh man, he got a history of complaints. From 2002 to 2012, he had 89 citizen complaints against him that culminated in a $45,000 settlement, a payout. 2012, he paid up. Well, he didn't pay up. The city had to pay up because of his use of force. So he, just like the others, all you got to do is pull their record and you'll see that they got a history. The, the evidence is there. The track record is there. I bet you if you go back into his childhood, you'd see many cases where he has done something racially questionable. Check out his record in the community, the neighborhoods he grew up. Talk to the friends. I'm sure they're just like them. They'll talk for some reason. Put that phone in front of them, they start talking. You don't even have to give them a cigarette or buy them a hamburger anymore. Family. We know what it is. We know we're being hunted. We know that there are Klansmen on the police force. We know that there are white extremists running rampant through every single police department in America. And we know they're in Congress because guess what? That's where they get their protection from, from the top. So you already know what needs to be done. I'm not gonna get on here and be trying to talk to y'all about what needs to be done for black folks to get justice and to protect themselves from future attacks, to protect their children. This dude, just like the rest of them, they all come from the same type of background. We know what it is, fam. They gunned this man down while he was visiting a, a friend. He was visiting. He had his hand perhaps in his pocket because it was like 30 something degrees in Columbus on Tuesday morning. It's like low 30s. It wouldn't be odd for somebody to have a hand in their pocket and another hand, well, the hand that is not being used in their pocket, that wouldn't be really odd. If you are a cop and you're required to wear a body cam and you can't turn that thing on, you don't need to be serving in the community. Your ass need to be at home somewhere. Or go find another job, sucker. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?